Hi, and welcome to another episode of Fly or Die. I'm Jordan Crook. And I'm Lena Rao. And today we're going to talk about Whisper. What do you think about Whisper? I think that Whisper is a really, really interesting platform because it kind of just opens the dialogue in an anonymous way. And I, I like it because it's just a new form of communication that you don't find on Facebook yeah. or Twitter, you know, because there is no identity. So much of our lives revolve around identity. And I think communication can change when there is no identity that it revolves around. I think it's like a good example of the way that anonymity can be a really positive thing in people's yeah. lives. Whisper has found a way to like police their network in a way. So the way that Whisper works, just in case you guys don't know, is you can post anything, you download the app, post anything in this like kind of meme form, and then it spreads out to the entire Whisper network, and it's completely anonymous, and they can kind of interact with it, remix it, like it. Um, and you can kind of get feedback on it. It's a generally, what I like to think of it as is an app version of Post Secret, which was hot a few years ago and still it exists. What's interesting about Whisper is that when someone shows any expression of self-harm or future self-harm, um, it instantly links into their nonprofit and kind of goes into a suicide prevention mode um, and tries to help them. And I think it's really great. I loved Post Secret, so I'm all about Whisper. I never use Post, Post Secret, but I think Whisper, there is something that's really freeing about not having something be tied to Facebook or your contacts or Twitter and, and your social graph. And I have to think that because it is getting such traction and because a lot of people are drawn to the platform, that there is something about that form of communication just the same way that Snapchat um, mm -hmm. unlocked like the ephemeral communication that maybe our society is really heading towards. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a reaction, right? right? Because if you grow up, my sister was 13 when she first got on Facebook. She was 13 when she first got a smartphone. So when she was at a party as a 15-year-old and someone pulled out their iPhone, that was a picture that could end up on the internet of her. That was something that could be forever tied to her Facebook profile. And that's something that why she loves using Snapchat so much. Right. And then this is just another form of Snapchat. Instead of tying your identity to something that disappears, you just tie no identity to something that lives forever. Um, but either way, we're seeing people get really excited about this kind of, of communication. And obviously, Whisper is a good example. So it, it, the verdict, fly or die. I say fly. You're gonna give it I'm a fly? I'm gonna give it a fly. I like it. I, yeah. You know, we just, it was pretty positive for me. I think they also have a really, op uh, I'm gonna give it a fly as well. I think they have a great opportunity for monetization as well. I, I think mean, so. How many secrets do you wanna share? Every time I feel lonely, I eat Ben and Jerry's Rock and Road. Rock and Road. I mean, like that, it, it, it's really, it's Yeah, it's really easy or to I got a ticket, you know, on the road today, like insurance. Exactly, you know? Geico. <laughs> yeah, there 15 you go. Or less in 15 minutes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, 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 two flies then, right? Yeah, two flies. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for Whisper.